Hello folks, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works where we do everything from virtual mentoring, on-demand learning, private trainings, hackathons, uh, and you're at our YouTube channel. So make sure you like and subscribe so you can stay up to date of all videos that we post. We usually post about two or three every single week. Uh, and for this week's video, what I wanted to bring to you uh, is an issue that I came up just a little bit recently, about a few weeks ago during a virtual mentoring where I had a customer who couldn't get their columns to get correctly sorted. Uh, and this is a typical thing that I often see like with date tables where you try to bring in the month column, have them sorted and they just sort alphabetically because the month column is just text value. So we have to figure out a way around that pretty easy fix. But her situation was a little bit more unique. Uh, and so I wanted to show that to you because you might have run into this issue as well. Or if you've never even talked about sorting a column based on another column, then this is definitely going to be right up your alley. So let's take a look at my report and what we've got going on here. So as you can see in this first visual I have, I have the month name in, and it's being sorted alphabetically because the month column is just a text column. And what I need to do is if I, in my date table, what I have is the month numbers as well to go along with the month. And I want to use the numbers to be the sorting of the months and not the months just alphabetically. So a super easy fix. All I have to do and just to prove this to you, let me bring in the month number into this visualization so we can see them that, you know, April's four, August is eight, so on and so forth. But now if I click on the month column, that's where I'm having the problem with the sorting in my column tools, I have a sort by column. And I'm going to say I want the month column to be sorted based on the values in the month number column. So when I select that, everything is picture perfect now because it's using the numbers to do the sort. Now one thing to also know is that this month number column doesn't have to be in your visual for the month sort to be done properly. So if I get rid of month number, we're still golden. We're still great to go. Now that was a pretty easy scenario to, to fix there, but sometimes you might get data that doesn't have a column that has a sort order for you. So the question becomes, well, Matt, how do I now fix this sorting if I don't even have the column to begin with? Well, you could always go back to the original data source, if possible, put those numbers in, get it executed there. Or if, you're, if you know what to do in the Power Query Editor, how to add in conditional columns, that's another way to do it. But you might be a little bit more familiar like with DAX and not as much with the Power Query Editor. So you might say, Matt, I can just put in a calculated column in order to get these numbers somehow but this is where you're gonna run into an issue. So let me explain this a little bit further. So as we can take a look here, what I have is my temperature categories. And currently, they are not in the right sort order for my liking, it's just doing it alphabetically. That's not really logical, I'd want freezing first, then I would want cold and cool, warm, hot, so on and so forth. So the first idea might be, all right, well let's just make our very own column that will have numbers attached to these. And so that's what I did. So I'm going to come over here and show this to you. So as you can see, I've got my temperature categories and I had these based off of these temperatures. And then I made a temp sort won't work to show you that this is not going to work. So this was the calculated column I made just using a quick little switch statement. If you see freezing, put one, cold, two, so on and so forth. So now these are the numbers I want to use in order to sort the categories, just like month and month number. But if I come on over to the report view, do what we did on that last one. So I want to bring in my temperature category. Underneath column tools, I'm going to go to sort by column. I'm going to pick the one that won't work. And we do not get any good uh, values here. <laughs> we get an error. It says a circular dependency was detected. Because what it's trying to do, it's trying to sort a column of values. But this column is referenced in the sort by column that we're referencing. So we're creating that circular dependency. So the question becomes, well then, does that mean we just can't do it? Uh, and we can. We just got to go about this a different way. So here's what I'm going to do. I still need a, a way to get the, I need to get these numbers in a column on this table, but I can't get these numbers from this table itself because I'm going to create that circular dependency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another table 
and I'm gonna use another DAX function to bring those values over. This is a really easy fix to do this if you don't have, uh, if you can't get to the original data source to get these numbers in, you're not familiar with adding in conditional columns. So here's how we're going to do it. So I'm gonna come up here to home. I'm gonna enter in some data. So I'm just gonna put in a, a table on the fly and I'm gonna call this uh, my category. And then the next column I'm gonna call the order just like so. And so I'm just gonna put in my category. So I'm gonna have freezing, I'm gonna have cold, cool, warm, hot, those are those temperature categories. And then I'm gonna give it the order one, and then two, three, four, and five. And then I'm just gonna call this my temp sorting table. So we'll give it a second to load. So now I have this temp sorting table located right over here, freezing cold, cool, warm, hot. And if I go to my model view, what I need to do to get this executed in order to bring these values over, I'm gonna have to make a relationship between these two tables. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click manage relationships because I'm gonna use the function called related to execute this. So I'm gonna make a new relationship between my temp sorting table and my temperatures table and it's gonna be based off of category to temperature category. And we're gonna hit okay. And so why I'm making this relationship is now I can use this to bring values from the temp sorting table onto my temperatures table. And that's the whole goal here. So now let me come back to my temperatures table. I'm gonna put in a new calculated column. And this one is the temp sort that will work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it exactly that, temp sort will work. And let me bump this up a little bit. So how we get this executed is if I wanna use relationship between these two tables to bring values back, I'm gonna use related. And what related is gonna do is look at the relationship we have based on temperature category. It's gonna find that value and then bring back the column that I want brought back for that matching row. So let's just see how this gets executed here. So I'm gonna say related and then I want to reach out to my temp sorting table and I want to bring back the number in that order column. And it's gonna do this all based off of the relationship of temperature categories, because that's how we built the relationship. So when I hit enter, okay, we're getting the exact same results as I did with that switch statement from earlier. So now everything should work because I don't have a circular dependency anymore. So if I come back to the report view, and I'm gonna take that temperature category and I wanna do a sort by column, but this time I'm gonna use the one that will work. So temp sort will work. And there we go, freezing, cold, cool, warm, and hot. So this is a way that you can get around of if your text values are being sorted alphabetically, but you know there's some kind of other logical order, here's how you can get those numbers in fairly quickly within to that table, just by making a quick table on the fly for the, I call it the sorting table. Then we make that relationship between the two, so you have to have that relationship column, and then we can use related and bring it on over. So again, there are other ways to do this, but this is just one of them that I wanted to show to you. Hopefully you enjoyed, uh, and make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.